Holidaymakers are heading back to Cyprus. That's good news for a country worried that last spring's financial crisis would scare away the tourists. But those coming this year are on cut price holiday deals and they might not be spending enough to keep the stumbling economy afloat. It's picture perfect. Tourists swim in turquoise waters below the giant rocks where legend has it Aphrodite was born. The holiday season has started on the Mediterranean island of Cyprus. It's not, however, the picture the world saw a few months ago as Cyprus sank into a financial crisis triggered by a bloated banking sector. Banks were shut down for two weeks as politicians negotiated an EU bailout. To counter the negative publicity, travel agents are now offering cut price holidays. This couple managed to pick up a bargain flight from Italy for 50 euros each and accommodation for around 40 a night. It was very expensive before, but with the crisis, prices have dropped. So we decided to come here, especially for the archaeology and history of the country. Thanks to the crisis, we were able to come and pay less. The tourist sector is a lifeline for Cyprus. Last year, over two and a half million tourists brought in close to 10% of the GDP. Officials are counting on repeat customers to keep the economy going. In the beginning, we thought we would see a drop in arrivals from England, but the results show the opposite. The numbers are identical to our projections well before the crisis. Others are not as optimistic. The owner of this family-run hotel in Lanaka worries that the season's revenues will not cover his costs. Suddenly the interest uh, started going up. And uh, I'll give you a, an example from 3%, it went to 4%, it went to 5%, it went to 6%. Now when you have big loans, and a difference between 3 to 6% is enormous. This can really destroy the business. Expectations are high for this year's tourist season to anchor an economy teetering on an even deeper recession than previously thought. The island's moneylenders, including the IMF, recently forecast that the GDP would decline 8.7% this year. Nikki Yoma, Arise News.